Hang on, hang on. Yeah, he's got it. Is Brian Holiday here? <laughs> oh, very good. Are we all ready? One, right here. One, two, three. Hey! When AT&T was selected to build uh, this network back in 2017, our chairman at the time uh, called this partnership an unprecedented public-private investment in infrastructure that makes America a leader and public safety a national priority. And I think, uh, you know, the commitment we made with the FirstNet authority to drive innovation in public safety and extend coverage and capacity where first responders need it most uh, is so critical. And we haven't slowed down. And we are, in fact, we're ahead of schedule, I believe. Governor Hogan opted in uh, back in 2017. We're very appreciative of his leadership and his efforts uh, in the state to recognize the importance of having this network up and running for uh, first responders to be able to utilize. There are many benefits to, to getting these towers up to that band 14 spectrum uh, for first responders to utilize and that priority and preemption that they get to enjoy. And then when they're not utilizing it, it's available for the consumers and residents of the state. Uh, to use as they need to. It is going to be a real change in our capacity to communicate and in our way to make certain that our first responders uh, who protect us day in and day out are going to be able to respond, protect, save lives, and keep their communities uh, safe going forward. And that's always been one of the focuses of the Hogan administration. So before I go further, I really would like to thank uh, the folks from AT&T and FirstNet uh, for their efforts, their hard work, their dedication. Uh, it's because of their efforts working with us that this has happened. And this has been a partnership that I think is worth studying because as they've said, they are ahead of schedule. Uh, this is working extraordinarily well here and elsewhere. And it sets the example to do other things that are to the benefit of our citizenry. And Laurie and Chris, I will say to you, it is through our creative private-public partnerships or public-private partnerships. Do <laughs> maybe we do it based on the dollars who puts what in? No, uh, we won't go there. Um, but yeah, that's the way we get things done. It is innovative, and we do need to have the capacity for our wireless broadband internet coverage. And we need it throughout the shore, we need it throughout Dorchester County, and we're appreciative of that bandwidth because it does make a difference. The cell tower is, is great for um, daily life. Uh, as we've heard, it's vital in times of emergency. And uh, with sea levels rising, as, as uh, Senator Eckert mentioned, uh, you know, hurricanes are becoming more frequent. Landlines falter down here. Um, they're old, they're pretty much unkept, unmaintained. Uh, wireless service is becoming our only means of communication. We can't influence tides or hurricanes, but with the availability now of FirstNet, responders to the NEC district will be able to communicate, coordinate rescue operations as necessary if we have an emergency. This is a program that works, and so Senator Van Hollen, uh, Congressman Harris, you know, Senator Cardin's office is in here. I'm sure they're with us in spirit. Let them know we support it. Um, this is a big deal. I mean, it's right here in our backyard and these poles are going up and they're making a difference in people's lives.